I'm going to show you how to replace your stock bamboo lab nozzle with an aftermarket nozzle. As you can see, this connector comes right off. It's uh, sort of like a magnetic connection. And you will see these two screws. And these two screws comes right off with the, with the wrench your printer came with. You can just unscrew them and set these aside so you don't lose it. And when the screws are off, you want to take these two connections off. As you can see, it's kind of uh, hold it in place with this uh, little latch here. So make sure you don't well snap it off while you're taking this off. And then you can just gently wiggle it around and then it'll come right off. After you've taken this off, you want to remove these two screws right here that holds the um, hot end cooling fan in place. You can use this wrench, uh, but I'm gonna use the uh, electric drill that I have, well, electric screwdriver that I got because it's a lot easier. And the hot end cooling fan come right off. We're going to set this aside so we can later reuse this on our new hot end. And this is the comparison between the new one and the old one. We are going to try to exactly mimic where the wires go so it doesn't interfere with the other components in the extruder. We are going to start with applying new thermal grease. You can use whatever it came with or you can just reuse bamboo laps. But I decided to go with whatever it came with. After you're done with applying thermal grease, you can place the heater on top of it. And after that, we're going to install the thermometer. As you can see, there's a little tiny hole in there. That's where the, therm uh, the thermometer will go in. First, we want to generously apply the thermal grease and then we're going to shove it inside. When inserting the thermometer, make sure to poke it around so there's no um, air bubble or any kind of like empty space that's without the thermal grease because we want as much of a, like a thermal grease um, contact as possible so it can read, uh, so you can read the, th uh, what is it, the temperature accurately. And after we've inserted the uh, thermometer, we're going to take this clamp and then we're going to sleeve it around the hot end right here. And as you can see, there's a protruding thermometer wire on the side and there is a little bit of a group on the side for that room. So make sure to follow that through. It can be a little... <sighs> It can be a little tight to like shove it around. So if you want to use a wrench or something like that, I decided to just use my fingers, but probably better with the wrench if I, well, had one lying around. And after you've installed the sleeve, we want to generously like uh, wipe it off, wipe off the excessive, um, the, th oh, th the thermal grease. Otherwise, it's going to harden and it can actually clog your nozzle. It is always a good idea to take the nozzle cleaning tool and then shove it down the, uh, the nozzle to make sure there is a like a path like a from up and down as well. And after that, we're going to reinstall the uh, parts cooling fan. Make sure to place it on the, uh, the correct position because uh, one side is intake and the other side is well out and we don't want to tighten this too much otherwise the fan will stuck and the fan is not going to well turn so make sure after you install the fan uh, wiggle it around make sure it um, make sure the fan blades are turning freely and before installing this new nozzle let's make sure that we have clear path from the bottom and up by cleaning out the nozzle 
this is the tool uh, Bamboo uh, give you guys when you purchase the printer. Uh, this one end is sort of like a needle, and then we can just like shove it up and down, make sure to like uh, cl uh, clean up anything that's possibly clogging up the nozzle. And it just goes in like that. It can be a little hard to like push that in, so wiggle it around, and then make sure you see that needle just going up and down. And the assembly is, well, reverse step of this assembly. I'm just gonna fast forward this. Um, what I'm doing right now is to make sure that, um, what is it, the connectors are in place before putting that in. As you can see, I'm just like wrapping it around that ledge right there. And then make sure you have the good connection there because sometimes it can be loose and then you will see that um, the fan warning or like the temperature warning and Put that in place and then you can just like uh, put that screw and then screw that back in. Same thing goes with the other one. And then we can connect the fan back in and the cover should be just magnetic like that. And if you want to swap off the nozzle, you can just take this little wrench they give you like this. And then you can unscrew the nozzle from this side and take the replacement nozzle here. They gave me a 0 0.6 nozzle and then it actually fits in like at this, uh, I believe five millimeter socket. And you can use this to uh, screw that in a lot, well, easier than using a wrench. And that's how you replace a stock Bamboo Lab nozzle with an aftermarket one. Honestly, I'm very glad I made this purchase because it makes swapping off nozzle a lot easier and faster. And I haven't noticed a um, any kind of decrease in print quality or anything. And if you guys want to check this out, I'll leave the link in the description. And um, I'll see you guys in my next video then. Thank you for watching.